Right. So here's a piano tut lesson or tutorial of this song called Something Just Like This by Coldplay and the Chainsmokers. Now the whole song is pretty much on D major, and it pretty much has one chord progression throughout the song. There's basically a G major, an A major, a B minor, and an A major. However. there's a lot of creative ways in which the song is played to make those chords definitely not boring as it clearly shows by the like i think it's crossed more than a billion views by now so um what what happens with the chords is they don't just play it as g g a a b b a a now you could play it like that right now a safe way to play the whole song in fact and if you're a beginner i would recommend this version is just play two hits in the right hand and one hit in the left hand b minor a major g major a major b minor na 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 and so on something just like this dun dun da da na na i want something just like this oh na 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 i want something just like and so on so you can basically play the chords as a block g g a a b minor b minor a major a major g g a and so on and so forth however i'd like to share maybe three or four things which are a collaboration of all that's all that i'm able to hear in the song the piano is not really there it's a very synth driven song as you guys already probably know uh, there's some guitar at the end of the song there's some drums there's some uh, synth bass so there's not too many piano parts you'd associate with you know in a normal coldplay song like maybe scientist or some of their older songs so i've just sort of developed some ideas now in the introduction and leading into the verse you could perhaps play something like this that's sort of like the introduction played in the beginning of the song so the notes so b d a d c sharp d a d d a d m t m t m t m t m i would suggest to try and use your ear to to hear the melody and get it so on right and as always in the piano it's nice to bring in our left hand as well so so all i'm playing in my left hand are basically the power chords so that's the root the fifth and the octave or if you don't get space for the octave you can just play the root and the fifth and as much as possible with this style of playing try to play the left hand at the down beat so the way i count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and So try to hit this at the one and the three of the bar. So you have G at the one uh, and the three. Sorry, G at the one, A at the three, B minor at the next bar one, and then back to A at the three of that bar. So you go two and. Three. These are all fifth chords. So watch out. Even B's fifth is F sharp, not. It's a tritone. Sounds very funny. E. Na 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 na. 
and you could continue this uh, for the verse as well um however what i found in the verse there's a nice uh, synth patch which is going in a in a 5 plus 3 manner so what i mean by a 5 plus 3 manner normally you play chords as four times and then another four and then another four and then another four it repeats evenly so what makes this song quite interesting is the first chord will last for five counts or five sub counts and the next chord will last for three counts so 1 so that'll be g So chord number G two three four five A two three B minor three four five A two three G two three four five A two three B two three. So if I play that on the keyboard, so basically at the one of the bar, and the second chord comes in at the three end of the bar. So you go. power chords in the left hand but now accenting the chord changes of the right hand g a b a g a d sorry b a g a major b minor So for the verse you could go do the intro thing which I taught you or you could play the uh, 5 plus 3 uh, irregular chord uh, chord phrase Right so now coming to the chorus of the song The chords are pretty much the same. However, there's a nice distinct tune which you find the synth playing. Dang, 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 dang. It's sort of following the um, the melody line of the the vocals. So, uh, uh, what you could try is you can just play the same chords. Basically, this pattern: one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Okay, and you can also bring out a melody, whatever you can try, you know, with th- these two fingers. sort of playing what the guitarist is playing at the outro so he plays down so you could embellish that with the chords find that a bit advanced you can play the chords in the left hand and the melody in the right hand you could even play a nice uh, holding pattern or uh, the pulse here a b minor
right and then there's like a nice build up uh, which happens for a very short time in the song and that's pretty much it so uh, the build up is on um, g a b minor g d a d with f sharp a Back to the chorus. So let me try and break that down. Melodically, the piano now comes in, or a synth, or whatever you hear, comes in with something like. Let me just point that out. I've written it down in red. D D D D E E E F sharp F sharp E F sharp G G G G G F sharp F sharp F sharp. And this goes with the chords G A B minor G D A. And just know that when you do G to D, it's a quick change. So ta na 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 na. an interesting chord here called with a d and f sharp bass so it's like playing d major in the right hand with f sharp in the left hand so let me try and sing the melody of the bridge while i play the chords and then i'll try and play the melody of the bridge and still remember that 5 plus 3 pattern which i taught you earlier for the verse 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 So I think this about pretty much covers each section. Now, uh, mind you, this is not like a normal song which has, you know, a lot of piano in it already where we just play what the other guy played. This is a more interesting kind of arrangement where there's a lot of electronic stuff, a lot of synths. So it's up to you to kind of make it your own. Even if you're a guitar player, you can add a lot of different elements since there are the, the song is pretty much synth heavy so you could try to maybe play it with an acoustic guitar or as a piano player you could add some different elements add arpeggios and also bring out the dynamics of the song so what the songs i generally like to play on the piano are are sometimes songs which uh, which, which can motivate me to creating my own part so most of the parts I gave you were just sort of a uh, uh, like a combination of all that we heard with the synths playing and we tried to bring it as much as possible on the piano. So I'm sure you'll also be able to de develop your own methods to figuring out your own parts on the keyboard as well. You don't have to play what's there in the original. And in this song, we don't have any option but to play what we can play or what we want to play since there is no piano right so all the best with playing this song uh, i had a lot of fun learning this and i have uh, and i hope you guys have a lot of fun too don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers